guys, how's it going? Tim's back again with the next episode of Pac-Man. Now, uh, I have to thank you guys for the extremely good response you guys gave the previous episode where we asked, what do we do next after coming up against a bit of a conundrum where uh, it kept pairing us against hugely, uh, hugely talented full gold 100 chemistry teams when we have a 30 chem silver nobody team. And uh, you guys came to the consensus that we are going to sell everybody which is what I've done other than the gold players that I currently had in the squad and uh, we're going to go out and buy as many gold packs as possible now fortunately as you can see we did have a season ticket pack to come as well and the main player from that was Thiago Neves who recently did have an inform so unfortunately the timing of that isn't the best we also get Itaraspe a 77 rated holding midfielder Peralta a striker Mexican striker and uh, a jizz a uh, Saudi Arabian winger called Jizawi with 90 pace but I, uh, I'm not going to use him I'm going to sell him on or discard him for uh, whatever he goes for but uh, we've got a couple of packs we can open you see we've got 21,450 coins that's two gold premium packs and one gold normal pack I decided to go and open the one gold normal pack at five grand rather than wait the, uh, the extra couple of episodes until getting a uh, another gold premium pack because we need players now not in the future we need as many now so uh, open another pack there you can see we get a German right midfielder a decent holding mid both of those in the Bundesliga and of course Koke as well who is a hugely talented up and coming central attacking midfielder at Atletico Madrid he's wonderful wonderful player picked up an inform already this year and of course is uh, recently been called up to the Spanish squad for the European qualify for the World Cup qualifiers rather so uh, a wonderful pull very very pleased with that indeed we haven't got that many players to go around him yet so we might not be able to fit him into a squad right away but it's nice to have a player of that sort of talent in the uh, in the club that we can call upon should we need him at a later date but the next pack we open we actually get two Premier League players Martin Kelly and Wes Houlihan as well as Luis Nato who is uh, a decent centre back Portuguese from the Russian League and of course a couple of kits we're actually going to just make uh, make ours, uh, our active ones but we're going to open one more pack which is of course that 5000 normal gold pack uh, that we previously mentioned of course you only get one rare card in the entirety of the pack so we're hoping that the rare card is going to be a player and not a contract or a consumable of any type and that as the uh, as the ball is about to come on screen it will spin around oh god it takes forever for this animation now it used to be so quick I don't know whether it's just the fact that the game is uh, really really bad but on FIFA 13 the animation was like click open a pack boom there it is now you have to wait like oh it's gonna it's gonna load the pack it's gonna load the pack and the spinny gold ball and we pull and Kulu uh, you have seen that on your screen for ages but uh, Boca Juniors kit as well just goes live there but uh, Nkulu, Nicholas Nkulu is a very very good player indeed unfortunately we do get a silver player in that pack as well so uh, only two gold players on that pack but this is the team that I've built so far uh, we've got some Bundesliga players in that bottom right quadrant and uh, the three Brazilian players up top in uh, in a 3-5-2 formation with a couple of Serie A players on the left Gargano and Bonucci and unfortunately we don't have any left mids whatsoever and only the one right mid there with uh, with Gebhardt so uh, we uh, no it's not Gebhardt is it I can't remember his name but uh, I've built a, a, a squad to go on the bench as well and uh, also there is a third squad here with a couple of the better players in the, in the side with Nkulu and Koke involved in this one. I don't have enough players to uh, to use that one yet as a full squad, but I've got two squads in the uh, in the previous uh, squad that I showed. So we're going to go into the first one with that first original team, and we come up against a pretty strong Barclays Premier League team. Defoe and Zeko up front with Pina and Ben Arthur out wide, Carrick and Ramirez through the middle with um, Nacho Monreal at left back. Phil Jones at right back and Rio Ferdinand and Jonathan Terry through the middle. So uh, we've actually started off quite decently actually. We're going to cut inside here with Wellington. A good turn to get around the defender and unfortunately Tim Krull is going to make a good save. But that was early on in the third or fourth minute. It's kind of gave me the confidence that maybe we could create some chances and actually stand a chance at this level. And uh, Wellington was going to have another decent chance here. Unfortunately he pulls that one just past the far post a decent effort but not quite accurate enough from Wellington there but uh, he was going to get a chance himself coming in towards half time good save from Vermeer from the first shot but of course it evades the two defenders that are uh, there at the back post and Ben Arthur is there to uh, to score in the 45th minute and those two shots from uh, Defoe and Ben Arthur were the, that was genuinely the only time he was in my half so uh, I was increasingly frustrated at the fact that uh, we were 1-0 down at half-time. He made three changes at half-time, bringing on Michu, Brian Ruiz and Stuart Downing. And they were going to have an immediate impact on the game. Vermeer's going to have the goal kick. His kicking isn't the best, but uh, he 
pops the ball out here to uh, to Murphy, who's our bronze player out on the left-hand side, but he's got a bit of pace, so he was the obvious choice for me to uh, to fill that vacant spot where we don't have a goal player. But Meets, who plays the ball over the top for Brian Ruiz here. I read the cut inside, but my player was sprinting, so he couldn't quite uh, kind of alter his feet and change his uh, momentum. And unfortunately, he missed the tackle. Brian Ruiz popped the ball into the back of there, and we were 2-0 down, which was just so annoying, considering this guy wasn't very good at the game. But we got a stroke of luck there, tried to clear that ball, hit it against his goalkeeper, Shins and Wellett, and this time does hit the target pretty simple effort there really to uh, to bring us back into the game at 2-1 I thought maybe we can get something from this but uh, Mitsu's going to come inside here I read the uh, read the initial move and oh this is pre-patched by the way that header from Zeko the, I was hammering B could not have been hitting B harder for uh, for the goal for the uh, defender Bonucci to clear that and uh, Zeko comes in with a diving header Bonucci tries to bring it down for some reason at the back post and uh, I took my frustration out with Gargano and unfortunately uh, got him sent off a couple of minutes from time but that is how this one is going to finish we do lose the game 3-1, but a 3-1 defeat is better than a 7 or 8 nil drubbing. And there was definitely signs in that game that we could actually compete at this level. So I'm thinking maybe in the next episode I might do a small pack opening. There is a 750 FIFA point package, costs about £4 something. And uh, that would get us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gold premium packs. So I may do that for the start of the next episode, open those 5 packs and then play one game like we did in this episode. So uh, please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind, guys. Again, thank you very much for the uh, response on the previous video. You guys definitely gave me the response I needed, and uh, this series is definitely going forward in the way that you want it to. So thank you very much for that. Of course, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. There will be a link in the description and on screen on the annotation over the Pac-Man. And if you missed that previous episode, then feel free to click on the pink ghost for a link to take you to that video. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.